Hello dear students, this is Rebecca Deal from RA Knowledge Board. Uh, dear students, uh, we are going to do uh, question number 3 of exercise number 1.1 .1, and uh, there are two more parts part 3 of question number 3 of completing square. The question is in front of you 11x square minus 34x plus 3 is equal to 0. As you have done earlier question in the previous video, now what do we have to do first? First, you have to shift this constant number that is a positive number to the other side and it will be negative. In the very next step that I have done in the same step, you can also skip this and you can do in the very next step. No need to do uh, the two steps in a one uh, question or one step actually. Okay, then as you know that 11 is not a perfect square. So what you have to do, you have to divide with 11 uh, in whole the equation. 11 by 11, 34 by 11 and minus 3 by 11. After we are having the cancellation, it will be simple x square minus 34x by 11 is equal to minus 3 by 11. Now students, the technique that I told you, when you have to find that middle number like this one, how you can see there's a rough work that I told you, you have to write half into the number that is written with your x. Now what is the number that is written with x? That is 34 by 11. Now this is that number. And after cancellation, this is 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 14. And you will get 17 by 11. After, you can see, uh, now this is the number x square. This is minus 2. The first number is uh, x and the second number you got from here, that is 17 by 11. And this term is as it is. Now, x square you can keep writing this way, minus 2, that is of formula. The first number is x and the very next number that is b is 17 by 11. Plus this is your b. You have to take the square of this number not only with the positive sign but also with the negative sign. And there minus 3 by 11 is as it is. Dear students, as you know that I have, talk, uh, I have discussed all the detail of the question in the previous video. These are the series of that question. That's why I'm not going to explain all these things again. If you have issue with these, you can go first there and then you will got my point. Okay, now, as you know that these three uh, terms combine and will give you the, this one, okay. And now this negative will go there on the other side will be positive. Then, when you solve these two terms, it is 17 squared, that is 289, 11 squared, that is 1 to 1. This term will be as it is. Now, further, this one. And uh, here, uh, you know that uh, what the process that I'm using in this question, what the method is actually, you have to multiply 1 to 1 with 11, you will get 1 double 3 1. Then in the cross form, that is 121 multiplied by 3, you will get minus 3 6 3. Plus, when you multiply 11 with 289, you will get 3 1 7 9. When you are going to subtract it, these two numbers, you will get 2 8 1 6 with a positive sign. Why? Because the biggest number is uh, having the positive sign. Then after that, there's a cancellation. When you cancel, dear students, as you know that <clears throat> you are allowed to use the calculator. So simply what you have to do in your calculator, just write this value 2816 divided by 1331. Then you will directly get this uh, number 256 divided by 121. Then we have to take the square root and after that applying the square root both sides. Then this is x minus 7 by uh, 17 by 11 a uh, 2 with cancel with square root. When you are going to take the square root of 256, you will get 16 and the square root of 1 to 1 will be 11 with a positive negative sign. Then this number is negative on the other side, it will be uh, positive. Then there are two options we have in this question. The one is uh, 16 by 11 have the two sign. The one is positive, the other is negative. Then one by one we have to solve it and you will get this is first we discussed with the negative number. Then uh, fortunately, luckily we are having the denominator same. It will be as it is. Then 17 plus this is minus 16 as it is. Now plus minus minus 17 minus 16 that is 1 by 11. The one answer is this. There is another answer that is with a positive number 16 by 11. Now once again. The denominators are same. Simply you have to write it as it is and 16 plus 17. Then 33 by 11. After cancellation, this is 11 ones are 11 and 11 threes are 33. Now, this is the one solution and this is another solution. 
Dear students, in all the question where you find the word solve and solution, it means you have to find the value of the variable that is being used in the question. Right now, as you know that you are using x. And one more thing that I want to tell you, how many in all the, uh, you just uh, have noticed in all these parts, you got two answers. Why? Because this is the uh, quadratic equation and the highest power or the degree is square. It means the highest degree is two, uh, two then you are having two solution, uh, solution or two answers in all these questions. If there is three, then you will got three answers. If there is four, you will got four answers. Now the two, it means you will got two answers in this part. Going towards the next, that is number five. Now this is 3x squared plus 7x is equal to zero. Dear students, luckily this is a very short question or you can say there is one thing that is not present in this question. That is, there are, you can see carefully there is not a constant part in this question. It means there is no need to shift uh, any number towards the other side. So the one step you we can skip here and no need to do actually. Now you can see the solution. Now we have to divide as you know that 3 is not a perfect square. So we have to cut it here like we don't use it. So we are going to divide the whole equation with 3. After dividing, this is 3 cancelled with 3. Then this is x squared plus 7 by 3 uh, minus, uh, this is actually positive sign, 7 by 3x is equal to 0. Then, now you need, actually, you can see this is the rough work and here. Now x squared as it is, then plus the 2, this is your 2, the first number is x. Now how can you find with the same method? You have to write half and the number that is written with the x, like the coefficient of x, that is 7 by 3. Now, there is no cancellation. You can uh, solve like 7 ones are 7 and 3 twos are 6. Simply, you have to write here 7 by 6. Okay. Now, this is x squared plus 2x, like 2ab plus b squared, that is 7 by 6 whole squared with the negative sign. Then, another way. Okay. Now, you are going to complete these three terms. It will give you a plus b whole square or x plus 7 by 6 whole square. Then you have to shift this negative number towards the other side. It is 7 by 6 whole square. Now you can write like you have to open this number. 7, 7 is 49 and 6, 6 is 36. Now you have to take taking square root on the both sides. You can also write taking square root on both sides. Okay. After taking the square root, then when you solve it, 2 is cancelled with this uh, square root. Then 49 gives you 7 and uh, 36 gives you 6 with a positive and a negative sign. Now, you can see there, this is a positive sign when it will go there with, uh, with a negative sign, okay? Now, we are, there are two cases actually, you know that once with a positive sign, the other with a negative sign. First, we are going to assume the first positive value. Now, when, uh, as you know that in algebra, when the numbers are same and the sign are opposite, definitely will get a zero value. There is no value actually, or a zero value. Then, here you are getting the value 0. In another step, like there is the negative value we have to solve. This is minus 7 by 6 and again minus 6, 7 by 6. When you solve these two, because the, uh, luckily we are having the same denominator will be 6. Minus 7, minus 7 will be as it is. This will be minus, minus, plus and minus 14. After cancellation, you will get two 7s are 14 and two 3s are 6. Now, this is the solution or you can say... Here is the solution set of the question and we have two answers 0 comma minus 7 by 3. Dear students, these are the two questions we still have to do work because there are still the questions that left with us and I hope so in the next video I'm going to make those questions. Now you have to practice a lot of this question because in a paper point of view these are very very important questions that is completing square. Take care. Bye bye.